Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So 3.4 is finally out in Genshin Impact, and with that, Al Haytham's story quest is out. Now, I don't know about you, but any excuse to see more Al Haytham in Genshin, I'm down for. I went into the story quest with low expectations, not really thinking much would happen, but I'm happy to say, I was wrong. I think Genshin is finally getting the hang of what people want in story quests. There were some dark moments, some really good twists, and overall, I was just hooked throughout the entire thing. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what you thought about Al Haytham's story quest and if you pulled for him or not. But anyways, enjoy the quest. How's everything going with your thesis? I should be able to publish it next month. Huh. A few days ago, I was worried that I'd have to stop my work on it. Thankfully, that didn't come to pass. Honestly, I was afraid that you might have gotten dragged down as well. How did things get settled? The newly appointed Acting Grand Sage reviewed all of our projects and gave us permission to continue our research. Oh, they got permission. That's awesome. Acting Grand Sage? That sounds like a new thing. I think Rancho's out of the loop, dude. Yeah, I heard that selecting new sages has been taking some time, so he's just filling in. But it's all thanks mm -hmm. to him that our research results weren't jeopardized. Once my paper is published, I'm definitely giving myself a long vacation and getting some much-needed rest. Mondstadt sounds like a good idea. So is Mondstadt like the resting area for people? Like the vacation spot for people? They're really out of their minds, making I'll hate them the acting grand sage. This guy's just jealous of I'll hate them, dude. Take it easy, professor. I'm puzzled as well. You're one of our most preeminent scholars. I don't know why they picked a stripling like him. A stripling? Oh, hello. They're gossiping about I'll hate them. Dude, I'll hate them probably knows and he just doesn't care. Fool! Do you think I Fool! Because I wasn't <laughs> chosen for the position? No, it's because I don't understand why they chose him. What a good voice actor. Fool. Do you think I'm angry because I wasn't chosen for the position? No, it's because I don't understand why they chose him. What a good voice actor. Fool. He was one of my students. Students. He rarely attended class. Class. <laughs> he retorted that self study <laughs> was better use of his time dude his voice actor is really good he retorted that self-study was a better use of his time what brazen arrogance misery of miseries for the academia to have him as the acting grand sage <laughs> yeah choke on it old man professor don't get so worked up i'll go get you some water psst want to hear a secret I've heard the new acting Grand Sage is from Haravatat. Haravatat? Really? Who is it? Someone named Al Haytham. Never met him myself, but he's a real hot topic right now. Lots of things being said about him. Hard to tell what's true and what isn't, though. There's also a Vahumana scholar who's been in the spotlight recently. They say that he's a likely pick to be one of the next sages. Oh, is he teaching any courses? Maybe we should drop by. Imagine buying a course from Al Haytham. Wow. People don't know who he is, though. Guess he's less famous than Paimon thought. Some people are saying good things and others bad. Especially that old guy just now. He really doesn't like Al Haytham. Where's my boy? Where's my Al Haytham? What's he doing? Who's this guy? I have so many questions. Uh, hey, are you okay? Uh, you don't look too. <laughs> this guy just like walked up. He's like. Who are you? It's like my neighbor. It's like my drunk neighbor, dude. The Matra. Huh? The Matra? I'm Ilias. I have to talk to a Matra about something important. What's going on with this dude? In the state you're in? You shouldn't push yourself. Why don't you tell us what happened and we'll pass on your message to a Matra? No, I have to tell them myself. Okay. The only ones I could trust. Sorry, can you lend me your arm? This is an important matter. Failure is not an option. I'm so confused. Since you put it that way, fine. We'll take you to Amatra. Just go yourself. Wow, I gotta do it. All right, we have started it. This, the, the quests. Uh, hey there. Excuse us, but is Sino at the academia? 
You two look familiar. Are you friends of Mahamatra Sino? Yes. Um, I'm We're kind of besties. Right I don't know. But if you'd like, I can pass whatever message you might have on to him. Why can't we just talk? Do cell phones exist in Genshin? No, cell phones don't exist. Okay, that doesn't make any sense though. Like, okay, how do people communicate in Genshin Impact? That's my biggest question. So do telephones exist in Genshin? The Dodoko. Oh yeah, that's true. Eagles, do they really do that? Letters and birds. We ran into this guy by the gates and he seems really eager to speak with Amatra. It sounds like something urgent. Oh, if you don't mind, why don't you tell me about it first? Yeah. What's wrong with this guy? Siraj. Siraj. That name sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, the Akash is gone. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's gone. They communicate by credit card. What do you mean? Buying Primo gems? <laughs> that's how you that's how you communicate. Vahumana researcher? Yes, one of their most renowned, in fact. I hear he's as daring as he is intelligent. Uh-huh. There are rumors he'll become Vahumana's next sage. Why is the music getting Please all eerie? Continue, good sir. What about Siraj? I want to report him for conducting a dangerous experiment. He kidnapped me, tied me up, and took me to that horrible cave. Experimental equipment everywhere. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> don't say kinky. Lana, don't say kinky. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Chat. That was the last thing I thought this guy was going to say. He got kidnapped, tied up, and took to a horrible cave. That sounds like my last Saturday. I ran as fast as I could, a little slower, and he would have caught me. That's creepy, dude. There's no rush. Please, take your time. What kind of experiments was he conducting? Where is this cave? I don't remember. Huh? You can't remember? On it. Okay, chat. I'm sorry I keep stopping. Have you noticed that Genshin Impact has been getting darker with like lines that they say and, and, and things that they talk about? Genshin Impact, when it first came out, they would not talk about someone getting kidnapped, tied up, and then like tortured <laughs> pretty much, right? And now it's starting to slowly, I feel like they're slowly starting to put it in where it's getting darker. And then it's just like, yeah, I got kidnapped, tied up. My Both of my ankles are broken. He beat me. Like, it's like... What is going on? Which I'm, I'm for. I'm like, I'm, I'm liking it. His Siraj walking towards me, and then my head started feeling weird. Tickle resistance? I have no resistance to it. It's like a nightmare that I can't recall. I just know that that place is dangerous, and that they must be stopped. Okay. Oh, I heard they conduct business in the tavern. We have to hurry. Even if what you say is. Believe him. I'll have some of my colleagues look into Siraj. But before that, I would like to administer the Matra lie detector test. Really? This man is, is like, hey, I am in big trauma. And then he's just like, eh, I don't really believe you. So you mind if I like do a lie detector test real quick? You think I'm lying? Please don't take it the wrong way. This is just standard protocol. Okay. Sorry, but can you two wait out here a little while? We'll be back soon. Okay. I guess trust issues, right? Huh? I'll hate them. Let me bring you up to speed. Oh, finally. First things first, Ilyas passed the lie detector test. Good. This indicates that what he said is highly credible. As such, we've decided to launch an investigation. <laughs> We'd never lie. We would never lie. Just forget about the time in the Sumeru Archon quest where Traveler bullied um that one academia student do you guys remember that <laughs> how we would take over people's minds and then traumatize them and bully them <laughs> that was horrible dude <laughs> it was so bad i'll never forget that per protocol this matter was reported to acting grand sage i'll hate them after hearing about it he left a message for mahamatra sino and then asked to join the investigation i'm i'm for that huh it's kind of weird for you to be working with the matra is there a special reason? You're overthinking things. My interest was piqued is all. Honestly, I don't care. As long as you're here with me, well, I'm fine. Really? I'm unsurprised you have this much free time. In that case, <laughs> let's join in as well, shall we, chap? It's already against protocol for acting Grand Sage I'll hate them to participate in this investigation. Huh? As for you two. Oh, never mind. After all, you were the ones who brought Ilyas here. 
I'll allow you to accompany us, but you have to promise to keep everything confidential. Eyelids are sealed. All right. In that case, I'll fill you in on what we know so far. Ilya's claim that Siraj will be conducting some business with a Kasharawa researcher at the tavern. This is one of his few clear memories. It seems he stumbled upon this information while escaping. Incidentally, Siraj isn't at the academia right now. He applied for long-term off-site research one month ago. Okay. It's close to the time that Ilyas had given. So we've decided to head to the tavern and investigate any suspicious persons. But That's we can right. do it. Arav, prepare to head out. You two, do as you will. Oh, come on! We already said that we're coming! We nut? Are we nutting? <laughs> we're here acting Grand Sage I'll hate them. What's our next course of action? Yeah. Hmm. Tell me what to do. In a normal platonic way. Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham. Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of the way. Oh, burned. None of y'all read the memo that Al Haytham emailed out a couple days ago, and it shows you guys are off the Christmas list on the Christmas party. You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for suspicious persons. Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our primary witness. <sighs> sure. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. <laughs> Why can't you fight? Well, he did just get tortured, so he's still, like, in shock. I'll hate them. Okay, he just walked away. Email? They don't have phones. They have email, though. They have email. Same as ever. Casually ignoring people, just like you did back at Aru Village. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. I love him. I love him more than more. The more he speaks, the more I just love him. What do you mean? Arav has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do. But unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. The Matra were once under the influence of the Sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic traps. Dude, he's so smart. The test was strictly unnecessary, though. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't interfere with their work this time. I love him, but I hate him. Yeah, I feel you. The more he speaks, the more I fold. <laughs> I know, right? The more you want to pull for him. Ugh, why is this so kind? Do we all have daddy issues? Is that what it is? This is why I was against becoming the acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more troublesome than usual. Excuse me, acting Grand Sage Al Haytham. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to know the answer no matter what. Have we met before? No. No <laughs> recollection of ever meeting you. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have had anything to do with someone of your caliber. Then why did you ask? Oh god, I'm sorry. Well, for some reason I felt a sense of familiarity when I met you for the first time. Really? A misperception, perhaps. Or... Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham, we've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawa researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. Narendra? S Acting Sage Al Haytham? Wait, uh, can someone please explain what's going on? I admit that I, I did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them, but does <laughs> something like that really warrant the personal interest of the acting Grand Sage? <laughs> this guy's stealing? Oh, God. What have I gotten myself into? I, I know I let Greg get the best of me, but, but, but please. Yeah, no. That this won't ever happen again. No, we're cutting your feet off, dude. I would like to ask him a few questions. Of course. Do you know Suraj? Yeah. That's the name of my buyer. He asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he never showed up. Oh, he steals the equipment and then sells them to Siraj, who then uses it to torture. Uh, oh, oh my God, this is getting dark. What were the details of this transaction? He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. 
He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him, hmm. under the pretense of them being defective parts. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up or run into you all. So he's like Dottore, who like does experiments, right? Maybe he works with Dottore. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. Hmm. Whatever the case, seems that this lead ends here. The good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investigation. You hear that? They literally have electrical components and generators, but they don't have telephones? What world do we live in? Do you have any more questions for the suspect? No, he's all yours. But I'd like to borrow Ilyas for a while. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I, do, I love his voice actor too. He conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that huh. front. However, okay. I am curious. What do you need him for exactly? I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. Let's go. So we're going to do our own experiments on him, chat. We'll be returning to the academia then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. But. Siraj didn't show up at the tavern, and Narendra didn't give us any leads. Mm -hmm. Ugh, that means we're stuck. Oh, hey, Thum. Are you serious about seeing things through? Paimon's pretty surprised that you're this interested in the case. Oh, well, yeah, of course. I thought you would have guessed the reason by now. Do you know Siraj? Yes. We were classmates. Okay. Oh, so that's why you asked to come along when Arav briefed you on the situation. Mm. So you're not here because you're interested in the case itself, but because you know the suspect? You couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting much from you to begin with. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's so funny. For the time being, all you need to know is that we were once classmates. I became the scribe afterwards while he continued his academic endeavors. I see. Boom. Roasted. He submitted a thesis one year ago, and the Grand Sage at the time asked for my opinion. I did not approve of it because it committed one of the six cardinal sins by touching upon human evolution. Okay. From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting the forbidden and fearing none, the six cardinal sins are the origin of all evil in this world. They are also what the sages use as a reference when formulating or amending the rules of the academia. Look, you're using a lot of big words with me, okay? I'm gonna need you to dumb it down for me, all right? Because, uh, I dropped out of college. I'm a streamer. I don't know what you're even talking about, dude. He's just so pretty. I don't even know what he's talking about. My opinion was that Siraj's research was both overly naive and in violation of various core principles. Okay. The Grand Sage took some of my suggestions on board and ultimately decided to reject the application. So that's why he's buying energy sources and electrical components. Yes, that is why he is doing that. He's most likely trying to circumvent the rules and conduct his experiment in secret. I see. So the academia shut down his experiment and wouldn't like allow it. Got it, I see. Can you try to remember things again? Maybe something new will pop up. Yeah, just get past your trauma. Uh, could you just remember everything for me real quick? I'm sorry, but I've already tried many times. And no matter how hard I try, it feels like everything in my mind is shrouded in a thick mist. It is possible for a person to subconsciously forget some of their memories as a defense mechanism against extreme stress. Yeah, trauma, yeah. However... These memories aren't truly lost, but merely sealed away. They can be restored with the appropriate stimulus. Now, try to recall things you care about. Hey, oh. They don't need to be related to this case. Stimulus, he says? Well, actually, I feel like I've forgotten more than just the memories of the time I was kidnapped and experimented on. The kind of person I am, the things I've done. I can remember some things, but I can't recall some others no matter how hard I try. Mm -hmm. But I do vaguely remember that there are two things that I have to do no matter what. Do okay. you tell? The first is to get my paycheck from the academia and <laughs> give it to my younger sister in Gondarvaville. I got to get my bag. That's the first thing I got to do. I know that. I'm not sure about the details, 
but it seems that I would send money to my younger sister every month to pay for family expenses. Huh. And the second thing? I'll and hate the them with the stimmy. <laughs> yeah. I got you, baby. How much you need? One, two, three. I'll give you a thousand. I can't remember. Sorry, there's just so much I can't recall. Not unexpected. How at least he's understanding at that point. Anyone who has seen Siraj and knows the exact location of his cave at present. As such, we'll do everything we can to help <laughs> yeah. you regain your memories. Dude, he forgot everything except that he needs that bag. He needs to pay his phone bill and that he needs that money. Uh-uh. You're not going to withhold his paycheck. Losing your memories must be really painful. But don't you worry. We'll help you get them all back. Oh, thank you so much. This feeling... It's more than just pain. I don't know how to describe it. You're good. You're good. I have so few memories that I don't even. I feel bad for this guy, though, for real. Who I am, and my head's always ringing. It feels like I could faint at any moment. But amidst all that, it also feels like I've been set free somehow. Huh? Nevertheless, I have you all to thank for bringing me what clarity I do have right now. I, I didn't do anything, but okay. Now, I do remember that I worked part-time at a place in the academia called the Research Preparation Center. Okay. And that's also where I got my monthly paycheck. This man on his money, dude. I see. In that case, let's go and find whoever's in charge there. Let's go do it. Hello. Nice mustache. Oh, um, uh, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've sent this period's research expenses report to your office. Have you taken a look? Are there any issues with it? I did. Recent research expenses have decreased quite a bit compared to past figures. Okay. Yes, though that is primarily because there are fewer scholars with research needs. But that can be a rather convoluted topic. Mm -hmm. Might I ask why you are here today? I believe you know this individual. His name is Ilyas. He worked part-time here, and he's here for his paycheck. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Though, Ilyas, where have you been these past few days? Hey, don't ask me questions. Give me my money. That was our busy period, but then you disappeared without a word. Everyone had to pick up the slack. I'm sorry. Something unexpected came up, but I know I've caused trouble for everyone. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? Yeah, we're going to keep your paycheck. The other researchers have more or less finished your share of the work. However, there is one thing that is yet to be settled. Do you remember Chandra? Chandra. In charge of following up on his off-site research application. He retracted his application a few days ago and canceled his off-site project. Dude, he's probably getting experimented on. He's the twelfth person to retract a research application this month. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to ask him why he did that. Mm, Chandra is probably having coffee at this hour, so you can find him at the cafe. Understood. Uh, then uh, about my paycheck. I'll pay you in full once you return. However, make sure you don't disappear without saying anything again. Be considerate to your colleagues and give them some forewarning at least. I, we can't tell you why, but he got kidnapped and tortured. Is this acceptable, acting Grand Sage Alhatham? I have no objections. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do the work, get your paycheck later. How about that? All right. Elias? Long time no see. What can I do for you? I heard that you canceled your research project, so I'm just here to ask you why. Oh, that, um, it's really nothing special. I, I just don't feel like going anymore. Oh, just all of a sudden you don't feel like going anymore, buddy? Huh? My paycheck's on the line here, okay? So you're gonna answer up. I'm, I'm not the only one who canceled, right? I mean, people have had no motivation to conduct research lately, haven't they? No motivation to conduct research? Yeah. Say, who might you be? You look sort of familiar. You really wanted that answer? No, um, don't mind me. Please, continue. Well, with the downfall of the sages not long ago, many of the projects that they led were put on hold while they were being investigated. Oh, okay. With the situation being so volatile, people are picking up random things to do to kill time. Huh. No one wants to risk starting any new research until it's clear how things will pan out in the future. That makes sense. So this is the aftermath of what's like what happened. When you say how things will pan out, you actually mean what the new sages would have interest in, right? Wow, talk about blunt. But that isn't the only reason for the lack of motivation to start new research. So what are the other reasons? Yeah. Well, because the Akasha terminal shut down. 
There it is. There it is. I'm sure you're all aware that we require all kinds of knowledge to perform any of the research we do. Back then, the Akasha would respond to any of our requests for the knowledge we needed. Wait a second. So they heavily relied on the Akasha system. So are you telling me that everyone in the academia is kind of stupid and they kind of just like didn't really know much? It was beyond convenient. We didn't have to spend an extended amount of time studying, so we were able to immediately run various tests and experiments. They're lazy as hell. Just open up your books. Exactly. So that's what it was. They were kind of like fakes, I guess. I see. You get it, right? After having had a taste of something so amazing, who can be bothered to manually sift through data and files ever again? There are only a handful of people at the academia. So these guys are lazy. Or performing research. Most people are like me waiting for a recognized researcher to start a project before immediately applying to join. So they're lazy and they're followers. Like they wait for other people to do it. I never knew that. Never really thought about that. Although our names will be further down in the paper, we'll have a much easier time. We don't have to do most of the mental heavy lifting. All we have to do is focus on our assigned tasks. They're just literally canceled. <laughs> so they're literally so lazy and they like wait for others to do the hard work and they're just like yeah our names will be lower on the list but like at least we didn't have to work that hard i hate the academia even more now hoshi welcome and how are you <laughs> oh jesus huh Ilias, what's wrong? what is going on dude my head it hurts. Um, this is creepy. I remember now, I remember what Siraj said to me as he approached. You will become Siraj number 36. Fuse yourself with a consciousness under my control. Think only in accordance with a set module. Like a worker bee in a beehive. What? Siraj number 36? That's creepy, dude. Hyron doesn't get it. What does that even mean? It's what Siraj was researching and the topic of the thesis he had submitted. Collective consciousness and the path of evolution. Like a hive mind. Oh! <gasps> So maybe like, okay, the Akasha system went down, right? And so then he was like, I'm going to conduct my own experiments and create my own like hive mind consciousness thing. So this is my theory. That by achieving three objectives, he could create a collective consciousness in human society and drive humans toward their ultimate evolution. First, he would rank test subjects in descending order of ability with number okay. one serving as the overmind. This overmind would then divide tasks into numerous modules and delegate them to the collective's members based on their assigned number. Okay. And lastly, members would share their memories and emotions to facilitate the rapid exchange of information within the collective. I have no words. Hyman still doesn't get it. What's the point of all that? Mass control. Think of it as linking many minds together and tailoring a given mind's assigned work based on its compatibility. Eventually, everyone's minds will be consolidated into a new form of existence that is both an individual and an organization. This sounds awfully a lot like uh, the Tore. Siraj believes this collective consciousness is superior to individual humans. Mm. Oh, squishing a whole bunch of people together? Yeah. Paimon thinks that sounds horrible. It's just as Alhatham said. Siraj gave all the test subjects different numbers. Bigger numbers meant you had a lower rank, so your assigned tasks were less complex, such as being responsible for everyone's basic needs. Interesting. Smaller numbers were ranked higher, so you'd be given more complex assignments like planning for the future. This is creepy, dude. Siraj referred to me as number 36, and I think that was a low-ranking number. Wow. Siraj is just the Torre with an upside down mustache, exactly. I also recall that Siraj said his plan was proceeding very quickly and that the hive would soon be complete. Oh no, then we gotta hurry. We have to stop him before it's complete. I tried my best, but that's all I can remember. I still can't recall where the cave is. I'm really sorry. Oh, you're good, you're Take good. Your time. You'll eventually remember it all. However, something doesn't seem right. So what's off? 
You were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Look at Hatham hyping his man up. I'm not sure what Siraj's numbering system is based on. Anyway, we're done here. Let's go. That's probably the nicest thing I've heard Al Haytham Wait. say. I heard you all talking about Siraj just now. Are you looking for him? Yes. Huh? Do you know something? Well, Siraj is pretty popular as of late. I heard he's gained recognition from a lot of well-known researchers. Supposedly, he's a strong contender for being one of the next stages. There are many who would hmm. give up everything to be a part of his research team. I'm nothing special, though, so I doubt I'd get the opportunity. That said, I do know a researcher who received an invitation from Siraj but declined it. Her name is Janaki. So we gotta find them. If you're interested, you can try to find her. She's usually reading at the pavilion in the garden. But let's go find her then. Are you Janaki? We'd like to ask you a couple of things about Siraj. <laughs> Dude, she angry. Ilyas? Do you know me? I'm sorry, but I don't recognize you. Are you playing dumb with me? No, I'm not. I actually have amnesia, so I've lost a lot of my memories. And? <laughs> Are you trying to say that I should forgive you just because you've forgotten what you've done? She, she literally said, and? I don't give a flying f if you forgot everything. I'm still pissed at you, bro. <laughs> she doesn't care. Tortured? Beaten? Man, I don't care. Or are you using the acting Grand Sage as backup to settle things with me? The two biggest loners teaming up. <laughs> what a terrible thought. That's enough. There seems to be a dispute between the two of you, but I have no interest in that. Yeah, shut the f*** up. I heard that Siraj once invited you to join his project. Is that true? So, what if it is? Siraj did extend an invitation. Dude, she's got some bite on her. I was also interested in his project. I think it was about collective consciousness or something. Anyway, he said that I could be number 45. I refused because I thought that rank was too low. Al Haytham's gonna burn her real quick and be like, no, that seems about fitting. No one wants to be placed at the bottom. <laughs> Certainly not me. Elias is number 36. And Janaki was supposed to be number 45. Yeah, how many people yeah, are there? Like, out of what? Have his eyes on. Like, out of how many people? Tell me, did Siraj tell you how he assigned numbers? Yeah. Remember how the sages took advantage of the Akasha and extracted Yana energy from our heads back then? Yeah. They left a document that records the amount of Yana energy that the Akasha had extracted from each person. I don't know how Siraj got his hands on that document, but he used it as the basis for his numbering system. Okay, hmm. that's weird. I see. He believes that this data can be used to evaluate a person's computing power. Is it true, though? Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. At most... Nyana energy can only be seen as representing a portion of a person's abilities. Mm -hmm. Humans are complicated beings, so it is impossible to evaluate them using a single criterion. See? I knew I couldn't have only been ranked as 45. Well, no. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're like more like 60, but it's all good. What else do you know about Siraj? That's it. He came to me. I refused. And that was the end of it. Okay. Is there anything else you needed? If not, I'm out of here. I've had enough of this eyesore. Dude, why is she so angry? And for what? Please, wait. I, I, I still want to know what I did in the past. You really forgot? Yeah, he did. I swear. I don't remember anything. Paimon can vouch for him. The mantra also said that he truly lost his memories. I see. You know what? It's better this way. I get angry just thinking about it. So I really don't have the patience to fill you in. All you need to know is that you got a lot of people in trouble back then, including me. Okay, well, he's sorry. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. All my homies hate her. I don't like her. Good riddance. And she's gone. She doesn't seem to like you very much. Do you really not remember anything? Maybe she just hates men, in which case, Val... <laughs> That's a bad generalization, Taz. I really don't. But after she said that, I've had this 
heavy feeling in my chest. I guess I did something really horrible. Well, bro, don't beat yourself up. You don't remember it. Do you want to remember? That's a good question. Huh? Even though you're a witness against Siraj in this case, you've also lost your memory. No one can force you to remember if you don't want to. Even if you mm. manage to remember, all you would need to do is feign ignorance and tell us that you tried the best you could, but to no avail. I'm not sure what to do. Like I said before, for some reason I felt a sense of freedom when I realized I had lost my memories. But I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to go free so easily. I still want to remember everything. What should I do? I can look up your file. Something that caused trouble for a lot of people in the past must be on file somewhere. Would you like me to look into it? Yes, please. All right. Okay. Then let's return to the house of Dana. We've spent enough time here, and you should go and get your paycheck. Yeah, get your bread, dude. All right, get your money up. Let's split up for now. Ilyas, you go and deal with that. The rest of you, come to the archives with me. We'll meet back here later okay. and then head over to Alone. the Narvaville. Okay. Thank you all so much. Relax, Ilias. Being nervous accomplishes nothing. That's true. <laughs> That's so smart. I need to learn that. No matter what I've done, I'm ready to face it. I'll also try Bet. my best to remember anything else related to Siraj. We'll put an end to all of this. I'm holding you to that. See you later. I will say, story quests and character quests have been getting better and better in Genshin. Like, better than they used to be. All right, let's talk to Alahitham. As Alahitham. Okay. The important files from the last few years should all be here. Okay. All right. There are witnesses that say that there is a mysterious shadow wandering around Pardia uh, at night. The inv investigation found nothing suspicious and the case was closed. Oh, okay. Just closed it. The Ritawahis Darshan uh, had also had an abundance of weirdos. Recently, in a new rumor that a student has the ability to write the Heaven Sent Thesis, the circumstances are still under investigation. Okay, that's creepy. There are many vacancies for sages, and the number of suspicious people spreading various news in Sumeru City has increased significantly recently. The Corps of 30 are looking to recruit for surveillance to ensure the city's peace and stability. Okay. Weird. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Anyway, I found Ilyas's file. Let's meet downstairs. Oh my god. Now I gotta go back downstairs? Okay, we just got here. I like the Cosmos. Cosmos is good. Oh, I love Layla. She's cute. Have I done? This file indicates that you were once commended by the academia for your courage and sense of justice. You were considered a hero. Let's go! Huh? Me? Yes. Your instructor was engaging in academic fraud, and you were the one who reported him. Oh, he just report. He just snitched. <laughs> okay. Your report was found to be true after a series of investigations, and your instructor was brought to justice by the Matra. This incident caused quite the commotion, and the academia sent you a commendation. I think every time we unlock a, a new memory, this is what's going to happen. What is it? Are any memories coming back to you? No, it's just... Uh, my head feels like it's being ripped apart again. What the it heck? hurts. Did I seriously do that? Then why? Let's put this matter aside for now. It isn't directly related to Siraj, so there's no need to push yourself over it. This is creepy, dude. I'm sorry. That should have been something good to hear, but... My body is instinctively rejecting it. I feel like I'll black out if I try to remember. Take it slow. Recovering memories is no easy task, especially when it involves memories that you don't want to remember. Just do what you think is right. Thank you. I'm not sure how you're so calm and composed all the time, but it does make me feel more confident about the situation I'm in. Let's head He's a good therapist, I guess. And deliver Ilyas's paycheck to his sister. Come on. We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Okay. Ilyas, what are you doing back here? Who's this people? Oh, Gundarvaville. I forgot. Dad, uh, it's nothing. Dad? I was just wondering how everyone was doing. 
Are you sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? It's all right. You can tell us. Is that your mom? Oh, that's that your mom, dude? Sheesh. Mama? Dang, dude. Ilyas, what's wrong? Sorry, I'm hitting on your mom. Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. You have PTSD now. I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. Huh? You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I mean, I'll come back home for her. For real, for real. Stacy's mom? Yeah, she got it going on, dude. I'm alright. I just need a little rest. Ilias doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. I mean, he doesn't want his family to worry. Hey, hey! That's enough, you two. Ilias isn't feeling well. You can keep nagging him once we get home. Who are you? His sister? Ilias, let's find somewhere to talk. Oh, that is his sister. Brings you to the quieter place. So, how's your headache? It's much better now. Oh, here. It's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. That is Ian Faye. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters, well, their mom and dad. Maybe they just want you to conform a bit more. Conform. Uh -huh. Yeah. You don't remember? After the incident, you Stop. Ilyas? What's wrong? Ah, I see. I remember now. Uh, don't worry. I remember now. Huh? You're acting a little weird today, you know? Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad, and I just want you to be happy. I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Yo, I'm with her, dude. Just relax, dude. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? Are you a friend of his? More so these two. My name is Al Haytham, and this is the Traveler in Paimon. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? He literally just said that he's our friend. We're in the bag, dude. We're in the bag. Let's go. He's our friend. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has friends. Would you like to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Paimon's down for that. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Okay, well, I'm hungry. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Take care of yourself. No, I'm yes. hungry. Oh, God. I didn't know you made decisions for me. I won't do anything to make you guys worry again. What does that mean? You remember now? Yes, I do. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. <laughs> Is that your way of conveying gratitude? <laughs> yeah, you don't seem like such a dick. Oh, my apologies. But I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense of loathing. <laughs> oh my god. Loathing? Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I dislike to that extent. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? You know, I hated you. I hated how you had that amazing chiseled six pack and your shoulders are boulders and your biceps can just, oh, I hated every sexy inch of you, but you know, getting to know you more, I like you a little bit more. My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. What a boss, dude. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things I first. I love him. I remember where Siraj's cave is now. I'll take you there. Oh, sick. Let's do it. That's great. Uh, I remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other ones? 
Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important things at hand. Okay. We have to stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. But let's go let's do it. head out. It's so well hidden. But there's nothing spooky about it. Hmm. Let's go inside and take a look. Alright. Are you sure it's still a work in progress? Ilias? Do you remember this place? Uh wait, where'd he go? Huh? Hello? Hmm. I don't sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should this is a, it's probably a trap, dude. Turn around and look for him. There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Uh, all right. Okay. We'll continue in and see if he catches up to us. He probably won't. What is going on? Is this Siraj? It's okay, Ilyas. Raju. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Everyone knows what's going on. Oh, so he's taking the credit. Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, that'd be the end of the project. Too many people would be affected. Oh, God. Politics. But he's obviously taking advantage of you. He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research data and takes credit for it. It's like Elon Musk with Tesla. Did you guys know that he did not create Tesla? It was someone else, and then he, like, bought his way in and then fired, the like, the, the co-founder of it and then, like, pretended that he, like, made it. It's kind of crazy. That's not right. Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not say anything. And I think they have a point. This is just how things are. All I want is to graduate without any problems. <sighs> it's okay. He's at least paying me. At least I'm getting... Dude, what's up with the paychecks in this game, dude? It's like, yeah, well, at least I'm getting my paycheck. Half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 mora. 20,000 Mora? Bro is getting played, bro. He's treating people like cattle. Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. Okay. See, that's a beta mindset. You gotta be a Sigma. Like, I'll hate them. What's the matter? I think I just saw a glimpse of Ilias' past. <laughs> Of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. Huh. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilios was connecting to the collective consciousness. But Paimon couldn't see them. I wonder why. Connecting... collective consciousness? It's clear that this place isn't a work in progress. The hive has long been finished. The collective consciousness okay. project is already complete, and Ilios is now returning to the collective. So he tricked us. Not entirely. Keep walking and you'll see why. Okay, let's do it. I want my Al Haytham. Why would you not give me? Okay, whatever. Quietly now. Yo, chat. Uh, how do you guys feel uh, about the next banners and the banner drops and like the weapon banner? Are you guys gonna be pulling or no? I think I want to. I don't know. I keep going back and forth on whether or not I want to see one Hu Tao. Or um, just go for Yolan Khan since I really like Yolan. I already have C Zero Hu Tao, so I, I just I don't know Hu Tao plus half of Homa then Yolan. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Hello. This place is gorgeous. Okay. Start. Yo, this is cool. What the heck? Contributing to the collective by only thinking to your strengths. How easy. Okay. This is cool. What's she gonna say? Oh, hate them. Just thinking of that name fills me with hatred. We must get rid of him. Wait, they have like glasses on and stuff. Do you see that? They look like Cyclops from the X-Men. Interesting. Might pull for Hu Tao's weapon or I'll just do some, save my primos. Yeah, I feel you. Like, Hu Tao's great. I feel like she kind of sucks playing at C0, in my opinion. But C1's really good. 
I like Yolan more. But Staff of Homa, though. Like, that's a good weapon. I don't have that weapon yet. Okay. Another flashback, it looks like. An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? Do you have any idea how many people you brought down? That's why she hates him. Because he... He outed that person, right? Which cost them all their jobs, I guess. Oh. You could have played Hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? I did not think that was going to be said. So you remember how earlier I was talking about how Genshin's kind of getting darker? It's a shame. What happened to him? I, I thought he was stronger than that. Wow. Wow. I, I, I did not think they would put that in the game. Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer, but he chose now. You're literally saying that he should have. You, 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 you're saying you should have waited on him doing what he did. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a dick, dude. In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the Matra are putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, needed this project to complete their studies? Go do something else then. I don't know. Now our you freeloader. Up in the air. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. Do you understand now? I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay for this. Oh, Genjin does such a great job in finding NPCs to hate, dude. I do not like you. It was just... Oh, my God. I feel so bad for him, dude. I hate the academia, man. Common Janicky. <laughs> yeah, common Janicky. Oh, dude. Hey, you're blinking out again. What did you see this time? Look how sad Ether looks, dude. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. Save your words for when we see him. Dude, this story quest is awesome. Uh, Alias, this is all very strange. Is there really no research group that will take you? Well, to pass this course, you must complete a paper with other researchers. I know you're a hero for fighting academic fraud, but well, we can't make exceptions for heroes now, can we? Maybe you should try to improve your relationship with the other researchers. Huh? Getting a reputation for being too unconventional will not stand you in good stead in the long run. Nah, you know what? He, he follows his own path. He's not a sheep like the rest of you, dude. I understand. No. I feel so bad for Elias, dude. You seem troubled. Oh God, Cyclops is here. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Siraj. That's Siraj. Freaky dude. Siraj, I've heard of you before. Do you need something from me? Mm, the world hates people who don't fit in. I imagine you've had your fair share of trouble. After you reported Johnny for academic fraud, you are ostracized and shunned. Even your family can't understand your actions. However, I'm working on some research that will help you merge into a collective. That way, your life won't be so dolorous. How about it? Wanna have a go? Uh... Yeah, maybe Siraj orchestrated all of it. You never know. What did you see? Didn't you see the same thing? Ilias wasn't forced. Paimon can't believe it. He really did trick us. That giga jerk. <laughs> that giga jerk. No, Siraj is the real giga jerk here. Ilias is just a regular jerk. Ooh, Paimon's so mad. We're going to find him and we're going to make him explain himself. What a giga jerk, dude. Paimon's always learning new languages. Okay. 
Giga jerk, dude. Can we get a bunch of giga jerks in chat, dude? Giga jerk. Wait, is that the giga jerk over there? <laughs> the way she screams, dude. You've come. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It was just like, you've come. Good. I intentionally slowed my integration into the collective consciousness because I wanted to see you one last time as Ilias. Wait! Did he... Was this all planned? Did he trick us? And I wanted to apologize to you as him. It was only at Gondarvaville that the second thing I must do occurred to me. Bring you all here. Top 10. He is a giga jerk. Top 10 anime betrayals, dude. Throw off the matra and bring Alhatham to the hive. That was my task as Siraj number 36. Wow. You, you were already Siraj number 36? But yeah. You passed the matra's lie detector test. Yes. I truly did forget many things during that time, even my identity and assigned responsibilities. I felt bad for you! Screw you, you giga jerk! However, it's not that I got scared and forgot. I chose to delete those memories. It's difficult to fool all hate them, so I had to create the perfect guise for myself. I truly feel betrayed right now. And the best guise is when you believe your own lies. Whoa. Correct. I only told you that the hive was incomplete because I had deleted my memories of its completion. That's like big brain, dude. It was finished a long time ago. Before I left, I was already living as number 36. Now, I choose to return to that identity. Only here okay. can I be truly free. And his voice is completely different, too. That's all I wanted to say. After I enter this room... My consciousness will merge back into the collective. And so, this is goodbye. Is this your decision? <sighs> yeah, the person we know is Ilyas, not Siraj number 36. Yeah. The outside world is painful sometimes, but Paimon doesn't think that's a reason to run away. Do you need more time to consider, Ilyas? Siraj, Cyclops. Hey, who are That is Siraj. So you're that Giga Jerk. <laughs> she could have just called everyone a Giga Jerk. Giga Jerk? <laughs> How bold of you. Have I done something to offend you? Giga Jerk? You! I modified Akasha terminals to allow users to share memories and emotions. Uh -huh. Then I recruited researchers from the academia to build a collective consciousness. I assigned numbers to everyone and divided the experiment's tasks amongst themselves. Here, people can live easily and happily without needing to exercise complex mental thought. This is this is like Nahida's story now. quest. All I've done is fulfill their wishes. This is like Nahida's story quest, where it was just trying to give everybody the like, like the perfect life, right? Like, oh yeah, you don't have to work like a life without worry. You know, this is a. Uh, this is like Persona 5 Royal, like Royal content. I, I, if you've played Persona 5, you know what I mean. I'm not going to spoil it for some people, but this is like the Royal content in Persona 5. Interesting. Yeah. You're just trying to justify yourself. Then I ask you, what's the difference between here and the outside? There are researchers at the academia who engage in dangerous research in extreme environments while others become idle. And listless. People are so obsessed with collective will that even those on the fringes will attempt to fit in after suffering setbacks. Isn't that right, Elias? <sighs> There's no need to deny this. As it is fact, it is natural for social creatures to congregate together. Mm -hmm. And the terminus of conformity is a collective consciousness through which even an ordinary bee colony can become a powerful swarm replace the bees with humans and this model becomes even more potent 
This is creepy as heck, dude. Okay. Welcome to the hive, all Hatham. You once arrogantly denied the merits of this project before the Grand Sage. A few simple words from you, and my research was consigned to nothingness. Of course, I'm well aware that you don't care about any of this. You don't care about the pain of others. But I didn't give up. I made my thesis into reality. Yeah, but you're only doing it probably for your self um, achievement. When we arrived, I noticed many empty rooms in the hive. Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> then can you guess where their inhabitants are? The answer is the academia. They're executing another huh? phase of the plan. Plan to install me as a sage. So he's got his hive people out in the real world doing his... Oh, that's creepy, dude. The collective consciousness links all of us into a single mind, showcasing our individual strength like sleeper agents. as we work together. We are able to execute complex undertakings while instantaneously modifying our strategies in response to unexpected situations. Everything has been proceeding smoothly. You are our biggest obstacle. Put you out of the way. Yeah, I'll Sumeru is dark. ...to turn the collective consciousness into a legitimate study. The project will snowball until ultimately everyone will be part of my hive. I... No. The hive will be in control. And it will lead the academia towards a new future. We won't let you do this! What can you achieve with mere words? You weren't even able to change Ilyas's mind. Return to the hive, number 36. Where'd you get the glasses from? Where'd you pull those things out? Yes. Wait! Don't go back! Uh, look! There are lots of people out there worried about you. And you aren't an outcast. Aren't we your friends? That's easy for you to say, given that you're travelers. Will you two continue to stay at the academia? When you leave, tragedy will repeat itself. He's got a point there. Return number 36. You know as well as I do that comforting words don't make life any easier. Why is he starting to make sense a little bit? Ilias? Why? You two are just as arrogant as all hate them. You think that everyone should be like you and live according to their own truths. But you don't realize that most people simply want easy lives. I mean, he's not wrong. There are people that do want that, but like to force it on the people that don't want it, which is what your plan is. Your plan is to do that even for people that don't want it. Then that's when it gets construed a little bit. I allowed number 36 to leave the hive without his memories only because I knew he would eventually return. Oh, this proves that I know more about human nature than you do. I'll hate them. Do say a word or two. I will consider them as your last. I made those words quite clear a year ago. The model you presented was extremely unstable. No amount of garish packaging will change its fragile nature. <sighs> huh. It can't be helped. If you were clever enough to realize those problems, then you would have been aware that the hive changed when Ilios returned to this collective consciousness of yours. Whoa. What? Yeah, what was the collective needs motivation to execute its plans? Just okay. as machinery requires energy to operate. That's why you, as the Overmind, synchronized your hatred of me into the collective, prompting them to create and execute a plan to eliminate me. But Ilias doesn't hate Al Haytham, that he doesn't feel the loathing anymore. However, when Ilias returned to the collective, his memories and emotions were shared with the rest of its members. This includes his perception of me. Trojan, yeah, you're right. Trojan horse, dude. Al Haytham used him to. Whoa. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? Dude, Al Haytham is so smart. This contradicts the hatred you had provided them, and these two differing emotions will give rise to new conflict. So that's it. Wait, so you. Return to the hive? 
Whoa. And then you pretended to keep him around just to fool Siraj. Dude, giga head, nine head jerk man. Giga jerk. I wouldn't expect any less from you all, Haytham. Dude, he's smart. He outplays him. All Haytham, I told you. You're too arrogant. Did you really think that your little scheme would be enough to destabilize the hive? Ilyas's return yeah, had indeed kind of. introduced abnormal emotions into the hive, but such a meager drop cannot give rise to waves. Your struggle has been in vain, and it's time to end it. So it did not Allow work. Me to show Great. you what makes the collective consciousness so formidable. That's so your collective consciousness. Where did they come from? I will show you what the collective consciousness can do. That's it. That's your collective consciousness. I'll use my unbuilt traveler. And something feels off about them. I also integrated monsters into the collective, though I ranked them last. Even so, they are part of it. Despite their lack of okay. intelligence, perfect cooperation can be achieved. Also high six. Much like soldiers who have undergone strict training. Now then, drown in endless waves of monsters. You, you will all pay This guy's voice actor, Siraj, is so good. Arrogance. Hey, I'll hate them. Uh, your plan didn't work, so what do we do now? We fight. I've already sent my gift to the collective. It'll take some time for the recipient to receive it. You okay. just need to brace yourselves for the nuisance in front so of us. So he's got a fight? Bet. Well, all right. Paimon doesn't know how you get so confident, but... This is we'll abs. For as long as we can. Let's do it, baby! This is your collective consciousness? Busted. Oh, hey, but isn't that bad of a person? Oh, so we have to survive until we can infect the hive you with see? the thoughts of like he's that not bad the will of the collective even with the hatred gone they continue their work that's cool i like An that external anomaly cannot shake the collective stability bob yo thank you so much for the eight month resa buddy thank you so much thank you thank you thank you welcome in how are you uh and cam the dummy also welcome it's your first time here how's your day going wow Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Gonna run a little bit, huh? Dead with me. Hello? Here you are. Here we go. Come here. Bro, I think I'll hate him. so fun. Busted. Quietly now. You won't hold out for go. He's a lot tougher than we imagined. He's gone wrong with this have you seen him fight? I think he can go forever. He's kind of like, like D. Luke was Batman, but technically, I feel like Al Haytham's more like Batman. With this sudden influx of information, silence has the overmind. I command you. I like this boss fight. This is cool. This is very unique versus like usual boss fights that are kind of like man. You just finish them in like two seconds, right? This is actually sick. Oh. Okay. A process of elimination. Here you are. Ugh. How is that possible? <gasps> oh no! A chicken man. Erring on judgment. Oh. The will of the collector cannot be wrong. The other mind must have made an error in his judgment. Okay, it is getting a little bit tougher in a sense. That was sick. That was actually sick, dude. Oh, it... what have you done? This is awesome. Calm down. Don't you have an easy way to figure this out? <laughs> so arrogant. You were only 
designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. That's why he was complimenting him. Elias has now become a memory shared by all members of the Hive. I see it now! You've channeled and amplified their selfish desires! Whoa. You're trying to destroy my Hive from the inside out! Human minds are not infinitely pliable, and your Hive has stretched many of them to their limit. Once your authority as Overmind starts to wane, it won't be long before your subjects snap back. He is so smart. Machine, being a tool for the rest of my life, as soon as one person begins to have these thoughts, selfishness, doubt, and fear will propagate, thanks to the web of consciousness that you built. At this stage, your so-called hive has already fallen. Bro. It's not over yet. I am the overmind. There has to be a way. Oh my god. It's too late. Once the desires of the hive accumulate, beyond a certain threshold, they will kill their king. This is insane, dude. Oh my god. That is that was insane. Oh my god, I'll hate them such a badass dude. That was so good. The hive shut down? I guess it's over. What happened just now? Members of a collective consciousness are more likely to reach a consensus because of their shared memories and emotions. For example, Ilios did have differing perceptions, but he ultimately followed the collective consciousness's judgment. However, That's sick. this system is far from perfect. Based on this logic, the collective consciousness will generate an intractable diffusion effect upon encountering negative emotions. Selfish desires. The disturbance that Ilyas caused wasn't for naught. It made the collective question the overmind. Setbacks mm -hmm. in the plan further amplified doubt, which diminishes the overmind's influence. This inevitably causes the collective to generate negative emotions. Apprehension, disappointment, panic, Avarice. Boom! Roasted. These negative emotions can be very well hidden, as humans generally do not share completely transparent channels of communication. But in the hive, where there are no secrets, negativity can spread like a tidal wave. Of course, mm. what I said to Ilios was the trigger for all of this. A few words were enough. Believe in the power of words, Siraj. You were already thinking of a way to destroy the collective consciousness. Even back then. He literally took note the original time Siraj had brought it up, right? Ever since then, Al Haytham has been planning to like take it down just in case he needed to. Dude is so freaking smart, man. That's amazing. You knew that Ilyas was the bait all along? But how did you know? Since when? I knew it from the moment I saw him. Moreover, I never looked down on you. My opinion of you has always been objective. You have a naive view towards the concepts of collective consciousness and human evolution, but you are intelligent and disciplined. That's a backhanded compliment, but I'll take it. You would never let a test subject escape. Mistakes like that are beneath you, and you also won't leave any mistake without a resolution. <laughs> I never thought uh, thank I'd hear you? those words <laughs> come from you. But if you're saying that out of sympathy, spare me. I know very well that you've never viewed me as an equal. When you were with us, you always had a distant look in your eyes. What a giga jerk. You don't need to hide it. I know it better than anyone else. The arrogance that comes with being a genius. Nobody likes being treated like that. Your perspective is entirely born from your habitual way of looking at things. From your perspective, you probably think I'm like you. Someone who doesn't fit in. However... I've never placed myself on a pedestal. I'll hate him as a king. He knows his self-worth. He humbles himself, dude. 
I just want to distance myself from meaningless noise and look at everything objectively. That's why he has his AirPod Maxes, dude. On the other hand, you have failed to come to terms with who you truly are. You care too much about winning and how others perceive you. You mean to say that I'm the arrogant one here? Arrogant and emotionally huh. fragile. You view people as a simple, mediocre collective, while you regard me as one of your kind. Regardless, I have lost. You can take me back to the academia and stand trial. You will stand trial, yes. But arresting people isn't in my job description. I'm just an ordinary staff member. I believe it is the General Mahamatra's duty to escort you away. Sino here? <laughs> Sino's here, of course he is, dude. What are you doing here? I followed the symbols. Looks like things have already been settled. Let's go. That was easy. Symbols? I left a similar picture in my letter to him, and I made several similar symbols on the way here. Interesting. Wait, what do you mean you left the letter? Oh, Paimon remembers. When Paimon first saw you, Arab said that you had left a letter for Simon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really did know that something was up with Ilyas from, from the, the start, start dude. Uh, you lied to us too! He had to, though. It'd be best if you didn't spout nonsense. I never <laughs> employed any mode of trickery on you. By the way, I came across some information at the Academia a few days ago. If you practice the method discussed therein, your vision may improve. Do you need it? Seriously? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> By the way, Simon. I love it. I'm people to the academia we can't let those jerks get away don't worry the matra have started screening suspicious persons and we've already arrested many of suraj's associates thank you sino this was likely one factor that caused i do the like sino, consciousness to waver everything went as you predicted all hatham good <laughs> good seems like the interesting part is already over i'll leave the arrests to you all see you Okay, bye, buddy. And off he goes. Gone. <sighs> there still are a lot of test subjects here, so let's stick around for a while. Okay. Uh, talk to the test subjects. Let's go do it. Oh no. Oh no. I was involved in all these plans to get rid of the acting Grand Sage. Yeah, you're being arrested for treason, actually. What came over me? I don't know. Treason. How could I do something like this? We were accomplices without knowing it. Yeah, sucks. But I'm afraid that Alhatha might pressure the Matra into giving us heavier sentences. Good. Where's the Janaki girl? Can we sentence her? Whether he's the scribe or the acting Grand Sage, we can't afford to offend him. It seems our future at the Academia will be full of uncertainties. We can discuss the future later. Leaving the Collective left me with a strange sense of guilt i didn't feel anything towards al haytham at first since he wasn't well known mm. all the opinions i heard about him were negative though see this is kind of trying to teach you like hey form your own opinion in today's world form your own opinion siraj made us hate al haytham and we blindly accepted that hatred and thought of him as a bad person from how things look we've done a lot of irrational things twitter <laughs> I'm sorry. Twitter! Right there. That's Twitter right there for you. I guess we're getting what we deserve. Ugh. Yeah. Could you help us apologize to all Haytham? No, you can do that yourself. You're an adult. Sure. Okay. I will help you tell all Haytham. But whether he chooses to forgive you is up to him. It's okay. No matter what he chooses, apologizing will make us feel slightly better. Twitter's the hive he mind? You think so? This. We're prepared for our punishment. It's time to go. <sighs> Let's go. And on the way there, we'll we'll arrest Janaki. So, were they all duped? We can ask all Haytham about that later. Okay. Elias, yeah. What about him? Looks like I can't exist as Siraj number 36. Yet, 
My life as Ilyas goes on. When I was at Gundarvaville, I thought about whether I should just come forward with the truth. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have the courage then. So in the end, I lost my sense of justice. But he I needs also a hug. Wasn't able to conform. I feel bad for him. Ilyas. Don't be sad. I'm the one who deceived you. However, I didn't come out of this completely empty-handed. Mm. The moment the hive collapsed, an idea popped into my head. Yeah, he messed up. But he recognized... Yeah, exactly what Six said. I realized... That takes a that lot. The collective I was always trying to fit into wasn't as powerful as I had imagined. Understanding that gave me courage somehow. Mm. Perhaps one day, I could be just like all Haytham and not care about what anyone else thinks. You can do it. Paimon believes in you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Thanks, I Genshin. should get going. I'm one of the primary suspects in the case, so I'll have to receive my due punishment. Can you keep this a secret from my parents and my sister? I just don't want them to worry. Yeah, when I see your mom tonight, I'll make sure not to say anything. Uh -huh. Sorry. Also, please apologize to all hate them for me. Goodbye, you two. Goodbye, Elias. I felt bad for you. Then I didn't. And now I do again. All the test subjects have been taken away. Good job, Taino. I'll have my subordinates seal the place, retrieve all documentation, and destroy the system. Are you too hurt? I brought bandages and hemostatics. I love Sino because, like, even though he's very, like, formal, he has that little side of him. And, like, he even said we're his friends, right? He cares. Fine. <sighs> Just a little tired. Get some rest. Oh, Haytham is probably waiting for you at the entrance. Go see him when you're done here. Watch okay. out for any of he's sweet. Yeah, he's sweet. who might still be in hiding. If you encounter anything you can't take care of, come find me at the academia. Okay. I got you. Sino jokes. The matter's settled. We can return now. Hm. Okay. I actually thought it would have been settled sooner. This took much longer than I expected. Judging by your faces, it seems like you two still have some questions. That is right. I respect your curiosity, but I'm off the clock now, so I'm not going to field any questions. Okay. <laughs> hey, where are your colleagues? Um, you couldn't tell that was an excuse just now? What? kidding me? You're not leaving today until you explain what happened back at Siraj's <laughs> secret base! Yeah! See ya. <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> not the pause, dude! Literally, you're just like... Yeah, see ya. <laughs> that was too good. Are you done? Your behavior is reminding me of some other people. Stop changing the subject. This is so funny. It's too much of a hassle to explain everything from the top. You know what? Come with me. Okay. I'll follow you. Where? Where? Doesn't matter. You'll know when we get there. Okay. Is this Al Haytham's house? This is Al Haytham's house? He even has a maid. What is your name? I don't know what your name is. This is his house? How long has it been here? Is this your home? My man living good. Yes. Yes. What's with you all of a sudden? Being all polite and inviting us over? Okay. You're not gonna try to seduce me, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that Kave? It is. Ah, you're back. Quick, come help me see if this painting's all straightened. Uh, and... Huh? Who are they? You cannot tell me they're not dating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, can you come over here and help me with this painting? Can you tell me if it's straight or not? <laughs> Unlike me. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Come here. <laughs> Stop making a fuss. I love they're hell, obviously dude. guests. You're not from the academia, are you? We have literally met before. Do you not remember a bro in a tank top and then a floating elf? I'm unsure she's seen you before. <gasps> You're the person from that time in that one place. Wait, what? How do you know me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do people know that I live here? 
Oh, yeah, you're right. Technically, we were eavesdropping. I remember. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we haven't officially met him. So this is technically our first official meeting of him. Got it. What? You're embarrassed only now of all times? Oh, you guys are roommates! Roommates. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes we are, but keep that to yourselves. Please, don't tell anyone else. Why would you want me to keep that to myself, huh? Huh? Yeah, sure, roommates. I keep a few books on collectives and the subconscious here at home. I'll get them. You all chat in the meantime. Uh, hey! I mean, I'm fine with chatting with him. I love him. Hey, you're leaving just like that? What's the deal? I'll hate them. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, this is this is like when you <laughs> this is like when you have a friend and then you go over to their house or something or somewhere and then like they introduce you to the friend, their friend that you've never met. And like, wait, I'll be right back. I got to go use the restroom. And then they leave you with that friend that you've never met. And then you're just like. So, uh, how do you know him? Sorry, I know we've only just met, but I have to ask, are you, um, you wouldn't happen to be actors that I'll hate them hire to pretend to be his friends, would you? Has he done that before? <laughs> Wait, has he done that before? <laughs> There's no way. Where would you get that idea? Uh, what? Guess not. I've never seen him invite friends home before, so please excuse my surprise. Interesting. You guys get it, right? You know, with his temperament and stuff. Wait, so we're the first people he's ever invited? What an honor. Okay. But aren't you his friend? Uh, I wouldn't say friends exactly. What do you mean by that? Okay, well, we used to be, but we're not anymore. How much more clear do we got to make it? Huh? Don't worry about it. My name is Kabe. I'm sorry to have met you under Love these it. circumstances. Anyway, please don't say anything about me living here. Hey, yo. Safe with me. I love it. I love it. I'm happy for you, too. You seem like you got a lot going on. So maybe some more. Make Paimon shut up. Not Paimon blackmailing him. Are you serious? No way. How could you... oh, of course. You're all Hatham's friends. She said, well, you know, everyone's about their paycheck in this one. What? That was a normal response. You exposed your own weakness. Still. Yeah, we're going to extort you. Like he does. Judging by the deafening din coming from the living room, you all must be getting along quite well. Hmm. Entertain your own friends, why don't you? I'll leave the books here. Okay. You skim through a few pages, but it content. Okay. I couldn't read that fast. This is way too complicated. Why don't we just ask questions instead? Paima wants to know. Uh. Oh, how did you know about the collective consciousness's weakness? Siraj presented his thesis to the Grand Sage, who offhandedly asked for my opinion. I actually responded with two lines of reasoning. The first, as I've already said, was that his research was on human They're friends with benefits? Hey, you know what? Let them the do what they academia. want to do, you know? I don't mind. The second was that I thought the direction of his research was too extreme, but his approach too conservative. Wait, that's too conservative? He built such a large lab, gathered all those people, and even tried to get rid of you! Yeah, he called that conservative? One way to stabilize a collective consciousness is to remove the test subject's humanity altogether. The optimal solution to achieve collective consciousness is to focus solely on the overmind and treat the other test subjects as tools. Mm. That's way too dangerous. You're not seriously considering that, are you? Cause, uh... I'm merely stating the facts. If Dude, this looks so that, comfy. I would have felt his work to be just as senseless. It's impossible for any species to evolve overnight, and humans without their humanity cannot be called humans. That's why the academia prohibited research into human evolution. Most research of this kind tends to run contrary to evolution. Okay. Huh. I get it now. it now. Can I be a cockroach in their house, please? <laughs> That's rich coming from you. If humans aren't humans without their humanity, then you'll probably evolve into some other species in another decade, I wager. What about you? Are you going to devolve into a fungus? I love their banter, dude. I love it, dude. 
At least I'd be a fungus with empathy. Sorry for eavesdropping, but what happened to you guys? I love it. Are you in trouble? Sort of. We encountered a strange researcher that had it out for us. Are you all okay? We're fine. Thank you for asking, though. To be more precise, they had it out for Alhatham. Huh. So that's how things went. <laughs> I love him. Such is life. If only he'd known, Alhatham could have stayed indoors today, and the whole thing could have been avoided. Right? Plus, he could have helped me with the housework for once. See those books? They've been sitting there waiting for someone to sort through them for an age. If you're not going to read them, tidy them away. They don't belong there. <laughs> this is too good, dude. Uh... <laughs> Can you feel the awkwardness in the air? He's the I yeah. He's the wife. Of your lack of conversational skills. He's the wife. Oh, so the pot's calling the kettle black, is he? Hm. Well, having said all that, are you okay? I love it. This is so cute. I'm doing quite well. Waifu Kave. Much better than that painting you're trying to hang on the wall. You, you don't understand anything. Stop criticizing my taste in decoration. <laughs> Kave seems to be upset again. He's always upset. Paimon can't tell which of them is more problematic. This is an old, <laughs> yeah, they're like an old married me. couple. I blame your curiosity, Paimon. You whisper very loudly. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Um, yeah. Someone I had to say it. That. Do you have any more questions? Let Paimon think. Uh, oh, by the way, the other researchers apologized to you. They hope that you can forgive them. I bear them no ill will. More accurately, I don't really care about what they think of me. I like Alhatham. To some extent, they were also fooled by Siraj. The Matra will take this into account at their trials. Ilyas also said that he wanted to tell us the truth at Gondarvaville, but he didn't have the courage. Right. He apologized to you too. It doesn't matter. I never considered asking him to come forward with the truth. Judging from his experiences, He's more courageous than the average person. There's Aww. no need to lay even more criticism on him. Criticizing the brave only shows how weak you yourself are. I'm going for dinner in 10 minutes, so I'll field one last question. Paimon doesn't have any more questions. How about you? Uh, what are you actually interested in? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. You only started investigating with the Matra at the Academia because you were interested in something, right? But after meeting Siraj, it didn't seem like you were interested in him or his experiment. I had no interest in him personally, but I was curious as to why so many people were willing to form a collective consciousness with him. I now understand the reason. Something to do with the current atmosphere of the academia, I suppose. Correct. The fall of the sages and the shutdown of the Akasha terminal. Don't leave the house yet? Okay, I got you. Academia. The fact that Siraj's project attracted so much interest despite not being approved speaks to the lack of research projects as of late. As the acting Grand Sage, I'll have to figure something out. Okay. In addition, what happened to Ilyas is worth our attention. Reporting academic fraud was the right thing to do. He didn't that's deserve right. the outcome that he had received. Hey, that's what I was thinking. Hyman understands now. Oh, you're pretty serious when it comes to work, huh? I think minimum viable seriousness is a more apt description. I'll do my best to take care of this mess until my resignation is approved. Wait, your resignation? Why is he so hot? Yes, I've already submitted my resignation to the academia. Soon, I'll resign as the acting Grand Sage and go back to being its scribe. Interesting. I don't think Siraj knew about that. If he had waited just a few more days before acting, I would have already resigned. What he'd do then wouldn't have been any concern of mine. However, even without my input, his unstable model would have collapsed for some other reason, so it makes no difference. So he only did it because it was like his duty, I guess, as like acting Grand Sage? But why do you want to resign? I'm not suited to be a sage, nor do I want to be one. Interesting. The official process to select the new sages is already underway, but <laughs> this process is long duty. and takes far <laughs> too much time. If I serve as acting Grand Sage for too long, the position might become permanent. That would be troublesome. I see. He doesn't want that. This job isn't something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. You have a pretty clear direction for yourself. It's important to keep your priorities straight. Well, it's about time. You too should grab some dinner as well. You see how he said priorities and then it showed, funnily enough, Kaveh? 
Cave is his priority. They didn't do that on accident. Oh, now mm. that you say that, Paimon's kind of hungry. See ya! We're gonna grab some mm -hmm. Goodbye. See ya. So, am I supposed to read their minds? The name Siraj doesn't ring a bell. Was he in your class? Oh. He isn't someone who would leave an impression, so it's expected that you don't remember him. I've always had a hard time appreciating the way that the Academia pressures people by labeling them as geniuses. But even so, the Academia can't be left to you. Or perhaps I should say that I'm delighted to see that you have a base amount of self-awareness. If the people in the Academia haven't gone mad, they'd know that I'm much more suited to be a sage than you. Oh my god. And I suppose they'd let everyone know that your career as a sage will be as shaky as that painting. <laughs> Again, that's mighty rich coming from someone about to resign. In a few days, you'll be managing files again. You'll be back at rock bottom. But my salary will likely stay the same. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? How come? Why do you get special treatment? At least I don't have to be an architectural designer who works himself to death just to get a smile from his client. There's no way! Boom. Roasted. There's no way he just said that to him. Y you <laughs> I took time out of my day to clean the living room for you, and this is the thanks I get for it? I'd have been better off catching up on my work. I still have designs to finish. Make sure to pay back the rent you owe me. I'm going to buy some furniture with that, Mora. What? I God, this is so funny, to dude. To death? The decorations you buy keep getting uglier and uglier. What's the point of having a boring wood carving in your house? <laughs> Dude, their banter might be the best banter between two characters in Genshin so far. You'll have to blame that on my financial freedom. Fine. Go ahead and hide behind your financial success if you want. But if we forget Mora for a second, do you have anything of true value to boast about? I think I'd have too many choices, to be honest. You, on the other hand. Can you think of any redeeming features at all? Artistry, for sure. You don't know the first thing about interior design. Don't go off buying random furniture unless you take me with you. You know what? He does look like a interior designer. So I'll have to bring you along and then buy you drinks? Of course. <laughs> but why would I do that? It would just be another form of a loan, and you'd have to pay me back eventually. Can't you just be nice and not ask for the Mora back? Pretending that you're not in debt is as ridiculous as pretending you're not living in someone else's home. Word will get out sooner or later. Are they planning a date together? Speaking of which, your friends won't say anything, right? Tell them to keep all this a secret. There's no need to hide it so carefully. I think the truth's already out. You're such a lightweight that a few drinks at the tavern had you spilling all your beans. What? No, it can't be. Can I read their minds? Oh, Hatham isn't thinking about revealing my secret, is he? Jeez, why does he always have these horrible thoughts? Does he really want to mess with me that much? And what he said just now, d does he know about my drunken scribbling? No. Wait, did someone tell him? <gasps> Was it the people at the tavern or the liquor shop? Why, that owner, he promised to keep this a secret. Also, is it really <laughs> true that I can't hold my liquor? I thought that impulsive speaking and writing were normal after a few drinks. Oh well. Everyone oh my god, he can't hold his liquor, dude. Anyway, so... Can I read Al Haytham's mind? Yes, you can. There's dust on the bookshelves. I should tidy them up sometime and bring any unused books to the house of Dana. Oh, that's all he says? I thought this was a great story quest. That was that surprised me. I was kind of going in with like lower expectations, right? Um, but I I really enjoyed it. <laughs>